What is up, 12 Nation? I'm Saul Kapoor. You're on the Hawk Alert. The Seattle Seahawks just absolutely owned the New York Giants this Sunday. Let's break this game down. I mean, this was completely lopsided. I know the Giants put up 13, but realistically, you could say that they should have scored zero. So, obviously, this, the touchdown that came from <coughs> the the Saquon rush, I mean, that was, that was a bit pointless, right, though? I, I hate to blame Tyler Lockett on this, but I kind of have to. This is absolutely Tyler Lockett's fault. He doesn't have the ball security in this moment, loses the ball. Dory Jackson gets it. So, I mean, Tyler Lockett has had a, a bit of a ball security issue. Uh, that's why they had to remove him from punt returner. And then he also has a fumble this season. So, I, I, he's getting up there in age. So, it might be harder to hold on to the football, but... You know, he's still a great receiver. He had a touchdown. Uh, love to see it. Tyler Lockett playing injured, as we know, and played great, right? So you can't you can't hit on the guy even for the fumble because the team ended up winning. So great game by the Seahawks. Uh, this this rookie class keeps on proving why they are the best rookie class in the NFL. Guys like Tariq Woolen, I mean, Boya Mafe, Charles Cross, Lucas on the line are just playing well. Two great tackles, and then obviously an offensive rookie of the year candidate in K9, the dog. We all know Kenneth Walker. He is a really, really good running back. Obviously, he had a few uh, had a few hiccups yesterday, but he, as we know, he is the running back moving forward in these future years. So K9 is a dog. Uh, Tariq Woolen, also a defensive rookie of the year candidate, right? I mean. Sauce Gardner and him will be comp- competing down to the final line. Looks like Walker will Walker and Hutchinson will definitely still be in the race, and then names like Elam, and and there's 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 a bunch of guys that have been playing well that are just rookies and balling out. But Tariq Woolen is definitely one that is going to be noticed, and K9 will also be noticed a lot. So these Seahawks rookies are showing out. Uh, the main thing I want to get to is. I just wanted to cover that Roquan Smith trade that happened. I'm recording this on Monday. So Roquan Smith did get a uh, deal to the Ravens. And honestly, he was on my uh, target list for a Seahawks potential trade. But I guess there was no need for it because the dude really struggles in the run game. And how good is he in the pass game? So I'm I'm, I'm not happy. I mean, I, I would have loved the guy, but... A Seahawks run defense that just let Saquon do nothing. I think he rushed for less than than three yards per carry. Yeah, he rushed for two point seven yards per carry. Saquon Barkley is a premier back in the NFL, and this shut him down. So, I think you can stick with this run defense. Why bring in Roquan Smith, who's kind of struggled a few times? Uh, he's a very good linebacker, and the reason he's so so renowned is because of his uh, great. Uh, tackling ability and his nose for the ball and you know there's there's a lot of things you can say about that but yeah he's a great player uh he was on my Seahawks target list it does not seem like I mean obviously he's he's not going to be a Seattle Seahawk anytime soon so uh that's not going to happen but there are definitely a few names that could be dealt to the Seahawks tomorrow but yes though the Seahawks absolutely balled out against the Giants dropped 27 points it's it's 20 plus every single game. They're going on and playing the Cardinals who are struggling. Even though the Cardinals are favored in this game, the Seahawks have been the underdogs and it feels like every game this year except this one right here. Uh why not go out and ball out again? I mean, Geno Smith just keeps on proving you cannot keep betting against the dude. Uh yesterday played great. And he's been playing great all season. At this point, the Seahawks are playoff contenders because they are winning the West. Uh, if they keep playing like this, right? I mean, if they keep playing like this, they're Super Bowl contenders. As crazy as that sounds, because the way they're playing, the way they just went and beat a six in one team, like that is just it's it's pretty impressive. And with the Cardinals, the struggling Cardinals, and then the struggling Bucks, I mean, those are two fairly easy wins i don't want to say they're very easy because you know tom brady is tom brady you can turn it on but those two weeks 
these next two weeks are looking pretty winnable for the Seahawks. So I'd love to see how this defense keeps on improving because every week this team and the rookies improve, the defense improves, coaching somehow even gets better. I mean, Pete Carroll, mastermind, Shane Waldron, offensive mastermind using Geno Smith to the max. And Clint Hurt on the defensive side doing what he just did against Saquon. And the Daniel Jones absolutely shut down the whole game. Sacked him five times. Abused that offensive line. Danny Dimes finished with a 24.2 quarterback rating. And it's looking like the Seahawks will make the playoffs. And honestly, in a season where Russell Wilson got traded, Bobby Wagner was released. Five and three at this point looked unimaginable i mean i think five five and a half wins was the betting line so i i hope everyone that watched this if you do bet and for some reason came across that prop i hope you went over on that because the seattle seahawks are balling out and it does not look like it's going to stop anytime soon i'm Saul kapoor thank you for watching go hawks i'll be here to preview this cardinal game that it's going to be it's going to be a close one and it's going to be an interesting one so make sure to follow the twitter subscribe to the channel follow the instagram leave a comment down below on what you think about the seahawks and see you later